Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be a video on me getting a new ant colony in. Uh, right now it's not actually here because I have to go to school and then go back to my old house to go pick up the package and then come back here and then I will begin to set it all up and all that fun stuff. Which is, as I said, it's going to be fun and all sorts of like stuff like that. So hopefully uh, it all goes well. Hopefully the queen is alive. Hopefully the entire colony is still alive. This colony has been... It's been a while to get this colony. Oh my lord, they're so loud. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully it all goes well. And uh, I guess I will see once I get off of school in about two hours. So yeah, anyways. Bye-bye uh, until then, even though it's literally just going to be a quick literal frame uh, before I actually am back here for you guys. But I have about two hours to go. Anyways, uh, yeah. See you then. Alright, I am back from school, as you can see. Um, put that away. Uh, here's the package now. Uh, I'm hoping and I'm praying that these ants actually managed to make it out of here. Uh, or survive shipping. They ended up accidentally putting in the wrong amount of... Uh, uh, the wrong shipping thing. So... Ultimately, uh, these guys have been in for about five days, actually six days, I think, of uh, shipping, when it really should have been only uh, well, it was only three days, but the USPS messed up. All right, anyways, go ahead and get cutting. Best not to cut towards me. This knife sucks, so I'm going to change over to this one. <laughs> this knife seems a little bit better, hopefully. Okay. Now I'm going to get up that top. Gotta be careful. I'm not cutting towards myself. Stop doing that. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. Holy. Some weird styrofoam right there. All right, so it looks like they're pretty protected from temperatures anyways with all the styrofoam. And replace what is ah oh, yes you got their news local newspaper uh okay interesting <laughs> and oh my <laughs> look at them right there this is Pogonomermex Occidentalis. Look at all of those workers in here. And that's not even the entire colony. Look at this piece of tubing. Oh my. <laughs> so it looks like this is where the majority of the colony is. This is where the queen is also. You can see a little bit of brood there. Oh my. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this colony. I am very excited for this colony. Seeing them out now. Yeah, alright, so Queen is in here somewhere. Oh there I think there she is. There's her little bat gaster there. Right there. There's the Queen. Hard to see her, but she's there. Nice. Alright. So now I have to get this into a new setup and I'm going to actually show you and put together the setup all on camera as I did with other ants. So yeah, I guess we'll bring this to uh, my room. So yeah, let's get going. <clears throat> All right, uh, now we are inside of the ant room. We have this clear spot area. If you remember, the Novobor Kensis were here, uh, but obviously not anymore. As you can see, they have been cleared out. In fact, actually, here's their old outworld that I completely cleared. And they're all good. In fact, actually, I'm going to do 
that's them now and their new outworld more to see from that later on all right so i'm gonna angle you here at the ground where i oh knocked that on accident where we have this big ol' box here. Now, if you actually watched the video uh, before this one, the moving video, you know what's inside of this box. Would you look at that? It is the XL Labyrinth. Now, I'm sure that they will fill this nest up very quickly, but this is pretty awesome because this nest hasn't been used in a very long time. I'm sorry for the noise, the birds, they're... They're too busy having fun. <laughs> so yeah. I'll have to end up needing to go ahead and set this up, and I will be sure to show off uh, the move. I'm probably going to get stung, which I'm kind of afraid about. But if it happens, it happens, and I kind of I, I kind of want to wonder what this thing feels like. But I'm not going to try to get intentionally stung, I think. But we'll see. Alright, now it's time to do the magic. I'm going to have to move some of these colonies off to the side a little bit. And just kind of move things around here uh, to where I can actually end up doing this uh, correctly. Change around my mask. Hold on. Alright. Okay. Now let's pick up this nest. It's a little heavy. It's definitely hefty. And put it on the ground like so. Ah, now that looks nice. Oh, it's not fully in frame. Hold on, let me move the camera down. That looks nice. Alright. So, clear that off. And now I have to go ahead and grab some uh, some tubing, so I'll quickly go ahead and do that. All right, got me some tubing. Always good. Now I need to cut said tubing. I don't know how much I need, so I need to get the outworld here. And try to fit that in here. Okay. And now, hold on, which side? I'm going to cut it right here. Quickly cut that. Cut. Now comes the funny part, where I'm most definitely probably going to get on the camera. I gotta get down on level. Make sure it's getting in there. Didn't lock on correctly, so I have a feeling that this is actually going to work for this side. Yep. Okay. 
So it appears as if I have not cut it correctly. So let me quickly get a better cut here. All right. Now you won't have to suffer with this issue. This is mainly uh, an issue because I ended up actually getting rid of the tubing. Honestly, I don't think the tubing is really needed to be honest, but it comes included with this nest. So, at least I think it is. I might just be doing this for no reason, who knows? Oops. <laughs> Struggle is real. All right. There we go. Now. And there it is all set up. It only took me three minutes. <laughs> all right. Now comes the fun part. Let me just move this a little closer here. Uh, hold on, I actually forgot to grab the cake tape. Let me go do that. All right. <clears throat> good, good. I didn't end up needing this anyways. I ended up just putting in a heat pad right there. I realize that's actually the best way to do it. Unlike, you know, the, uh... I need to loosen this up. Hold on. It's not as... There we go. Oh. <laughs> Unlike these nests where you have to kind of wrap it around just in case, or even that where you have to put it over it, with this nest, you don't have to deal with that. So, uh, because it doesn't end up, you know, fogging up over here because, you know, the hydration's over here. Anyways, <laughs> it is now time for the grand uh, thing. Not English. Oh my lord, dog. <laughs> All right, now comes the fun part. After setting up the nest for a stupid amount of time, it's time to get fun. First, we're gonna go with this tube here. Looks like quite a few workers in here. Awesome, awesome. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in here. I'll zoom in for you. Let's get going. Oh my. Wow. There's workers. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Get off. I don't want to get stung. Okay. We're good. Wow. They are a little angry. That's not good. <laughs> Let me get a better camera angle set up here for you guys. That way we can all gawk at this together. Uh oh. Oh, there was a worker out. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. Okay, let's put it on this new camera angle. Alright, seemed like I decided to start recording without my notice. There we go. Good view. Okay. <laughs> now it's time for the next part, which is the massive tube of them, which is going to be fun. This is where you're going to see the queen come popping out. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Move this tripod out of my way. There we go. This new camera angle definitely did free up some space. All right. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? I don't like that, okay. <laughs> oh no. Possibility of panic is setting in. Alright, okay, okay, you are getting dropped. And. <laughs> Hopefully the queen was in that pile of workers. No, no stingy boys? No stingy boys. Not yet, anyways. Don't get stung, don't get stung, don't get stung. Looks like 
that was everyone besides for a few. Now you're looking at the whole colony, pretty much. Yeah, that's a, that's a hefty amount, that's for sure. Let me get some better light in here. That way we can actually all see what this colony has to offer. Yep, there we go. That is the colony. I have no idea where the queen is. But I'm sure we can find her eventually. I'm sure she's in here this shot. I'll take a look for her myself. Hold on. Found the queen. Photo time. <laughs> look at her. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah. Now that they're all moved in here. They are going to slowly but surely uh, explore this area, and I will show you what that ultimately looks like uh, once they are actually begin the moving. <laughs> Alright, it's been about a day since I put them in here. You can see that they did a pretty good job. They have some seeds scoured about. They don't really fill the nest very well, but they definitely are using up that space, which is good. Uh, so yeah. I'll end up doing a proper update video on them sometime, uh, for sure, but for now, uh, that's the end of this video, and I guess I'll let outro me do the rest of this, so yeah. Thank you all for watching this video. You guys can check out my Instagram where I oftentimes post stories and all sorts of stuff like that. You can also check out the two Discord servers, and Keeping Anythology and Ants Anonymous, where you can easily get in contact with me. Also, check out my Patreon. My Patreon is the best way that you can go ahead and support these type of videos, and it would mean a lot to me if you were to go over to become a patron, but you don't have to. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.